and welcome to Clients First Business Solutions presentation of Dynamics 365 Introduction to Accounting Structures and Dimensions. My name is Courtney Collum and I am an ERP application consultant. Today I want to show you some great features that Dynamics 365 offers for setting up dimensions such as call centers, and departments, and using the accounting structure to ensure proper posting. To begin, let's go to the General Ledger, Chart of Accounts, Main Account Categories. Here we can define account categories to help us break down the main accounts into sections. It's also valuable when building reports. If we move to the chart of accounts, we can see how our accounts are given an account category and one category can be used on multiple accounts. So if we wanted to see all accounts related to cost of goods sold, we can look at it by category and not have to rely solely on the number structure to tell us its category. For example, the 5,000 accounts are not just cost of goods sold in this ledger. It also has project expenses and other income. Next, we will move to dimensions, then financial dimensions. Here we can set up different dimensions for tracking various items and levels of reporting. Business units may be different business types, where a cost center may be looking at different departments or locations within the company. If you have multiple dimensions set up, you may want to define which dimension can be booked to specific accounts or dimensions. If we go to Structures and Configure Account Structures, we can build the accounts to only book to specific dimension combinations. In this case, all business units are available or can be blank. The asterisk signifies all values are applicable, and the semicolon means it can also be left blank. Cost Center 007 can be used with Department 022 or 025 through 34 or you can leave the cost center blank for all departments. Another great feature in 365 is the dimension default templates. This allows you to set up an allocation or breakdown of costs ahead of time so accounting does not have to calculate and distribute the invoices or expenses each time they are entered. Instead, you can set up a distribution by percentage and enter in a value and have the system distribute it. We can see this by entering an invoice for rent. We key the required fields and input a line. Once we have input the required information, we will go to the financial dimensions and select the template ID. We remove the automatic items, then tell it to update the order lines based on the template. If we select View Distributions, we can see the amount is spread based on the template and the entry will be as follows. Now we can go to the invoice and see the transaction to confirm it posted with the spread. If you liked what you saw in this video, you can find more by going to clientsfirst-ax.com. Then go to the bottom of the page to the resources and media section to find the video portal link. This takes you to a page of videos. Need a partner to help you navigate your AX system or want to learn more about how Dynamics AX can work for you? We are a national organization serving an international base. We are Microsoft Gold Partner and would love to show you how we put our clients first since 2003. Please feel free to call or email us today to discuss how we can help you.